Welcome to this tutorial on high scores. So online high scores can be a bit of a mission to implement at times because you're required to have a MySQL database and to know a little bit of PHP and all that. So um, what we're going to be looking at today is a fantastic resource called Dreamlow. And uh, you can find this page at dreamlow.com. And uh, what this allows us to do is to basically store and access information from a database uh, right from our C-sharp script. So this is uh, created by a great chap called Carmen. And uh, if you'd like to thank him for the great work he's doing, you can click the donate button over here. And uh, to continue with the tutorial, let's press uh, get yours now. And this will take us to our leaderboards page where we've got a bunch of codes. So uh, let's go to Unity and create a C-sharp script called high scores. Oops, high scores, and I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm also going to call that high scores, and we're just going to drag our script onto that. Now let's open this up in MonoDevelop or your script editor of choice. And I'm going to delete all of this and create three constant string fields. Um, the first one will be called our private code. And let's just copy this twice. The next one will be called our public code. And the last one is our web URL. All right, now let's go back to our uh, Dreamlow page and copy the private code into the private code field. And the same thing for the public code. Um, your codes should, of course, be different to mine. And for the web URL, we're just going to copy this uh, first bit up to the dot com slash lb slash. We'll copy that into our web URL field. And now we're ready to create a bit of code to upload a score. So um, let's create a coroutine. So that's i enumerator. And we can call this upload uh, new high score. And this will take in a string for the username and an integer for the actual score. And now the way Unity uh, accesses web pages is using a variable called www. And we can just call that www as well. And this is equal to a new www. And uh, now we need to pass in the URL. So we do this first by adding the web URL plus our private code, since we don't want just anyone to be able to uh, upload a new score, so we use our private code. And then we use this command uh, slash add slash plus the, uh, oops, I need to end the string there, plus the username. And for the username, we're going to use www.escapeurl to make sure that it's URL friendly and uh, we'll pass in the username. And then we add a slash. And finally, we add our score. All right, so the reason we're doing this all in a coroutine is because uh, uploading to the database is not gonna be instantaneous. Um, we're going to have to yield return the www so this will uh, wait until that's finished uploading. And uh, then we can check if there were any errors in the upload. So um, we can do this. Uh, www has got a error string. So we want to check if that is um, empty. So we can use string dot is null or empty. And we can pass in www dot error. And uh, if that is the case, then we can just print maybe, um, let's say, upload successful. Otherwise, we can print um, error uploading plus the actual error message. Now let's just create a little uh, public method called uh, maybe add new high school. And this will also take in a string username and an integer for the score. 
And all this is going to do is it's just going to, this is what we'll call, um, and then this will call the coroutine, just so that we don't have to say uh, start coroutine each time, we can just call the add new high score function. So um, start coroutine and just copy this name in as a string. Actually, hold on, we need to pass in uh, two variables here, so we can't do it as a string. Um, instead, we'll do it this way. Username, comma, score. All right, so now to test that this is all working, let's uh, create an awake method. And uh, we'll say add new high score. Let's give it a username. I'll give it my name, Sebastian, and a score, say 50. And let's add another two people, maybe Mary got 85 and Bob got 92. All right, now let's go into Unity. And um, because we're not really going to be using the game view, I'm just going to drag that over there. And uh, the console view is going to be more important here. So I'm going to make that nice and big. And uh, let's run this and see what happens. So we got three successful uploads. Let's go into our Dreamlow page and uh, refresh the page. And you can see we've got Bob, Mary, and Sebastian and uh, their scores, and they are automatically sorted from highest score to lowest score. All right, great, so uploading is as simple as that. Um, now let us look at downloading the scores. So back in MonoDevelop, I am going to copy this entire upload new high score coroutine, and uh, I'll paste it down here and just rename it to something like download high scores from database. And uh, it doesn't need any arguments, so we can just delete that. And instead of using the private code, since we're not uploading, we're, we can use the public code. And we'll replace add with pipe. And the rest we can just delete. So once again, we will wait for the uh, www to finish getting all the stuff from the, from the site. And uh, this time, if there is no error, then we can print uh, the information that it's fetched, which is stored in www.text. Otherwise, we can say error downloading uh, plus the error message. All right, I'm going to do the same thing as we did for the upload new high score with this little sort of um, helper method. So I'll create a public void, uh, just call this simply download high scores. And this will start the coroutine. We can just uh, paste the name in there. I'll do it as a string this time since there are no arguments to pass in. And all right, now just from the awake method, after we've uploaded the scores, let's say download high scores. And going on to Unity, let us see what happens. So we have got three upload successfuls again. And uh, just looking at this text over here, um, we have got Bob, Mary, and Sebastian. And you can see how the uh, text is formatted. We've basically got Bob, then we've got a pipe, or a, a, what you call it, a, a vertical slash, and then the score, and then another vertical slash, and then a whole bunch of other stuff, like the date and, and so on. But what we're really interested in is just these first two entries, the username, vertical slash, followed by our score. And also important to note is that each of these entries is on a new line. So uh, we'll make use of that fact in our script. We're now going to create a void uh, called format high scores. And this will take in a string, which we can maybe just call the text uh, stream. And uh, from this um, point in the download high scores from database coroutine. We're just going to say format high scores and we'll pass in the uh, retrieved text. All right, so let us split up each of our high score entries into its own uh, string. So we'll create an, uh, a string array. Um, we can just call this uh, maybe entries. And this will be equal to text stream dot split. And uh, we want to split it by line. So uh, the way we can do that 
is using a char or a character array. Um, so we can say new character array. And uh, we open curly brackets. And remember, it's a single quote mark for a character. And now we can use the um, new line symbol, which is uh, backward slash n, and end the single quotation mark, and end the curly brackets. And now for our string split options, we're going to say string split options dot remove empty entries. And this will make sure that um, if there's like an empty line at the bottom, that that doesn't get added as its own entry. And now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of these entries. So we'll say for int i, oops, int i equals naught, i less than entries dot length with i incrementing by one each time. So inside of here, we're going to be extracting the username and the score from the uh, entries array. And uh, we'll be storing it in, in some variable. Um, let's, let's create our own little uh, data structure just to make things easier. Um, make a public struct. And we can just call this high score. And this can have two fields, a public string for the username and a public integer for the score. And now let us create a public uh, high score array. And we can just call this the high scores list. And in our format high scores method, we can say um, the high score list is equal to a new high score array with a length of entries dot length. All right, so now inside of this for loop, let's create a string array called um, say entry info. And uh, this will be equal to entries. Uh, we'll get the ith uh, index of the entries array. And we will split this with a new character array. The curly bracket thing again. Once again, remember, single quotation mark for a character. And uh, we're going to split it with this vertical line or pipe symbol. So this is now uh, split up into all of the sort of separate uh, fields that, that, that I was showing earlier. And um, as we saw, our username is going to be the first entry in that info. So that's entry info zero. And our score is going to be entry info one. But um, we're going to get this as a string. So we need to pass this to an integer. So we say int dot pass. And we pass in the string. And that should all work fine. So now let's say high scores list uh, i is equal to a new high score. And uh, let's create a little constructor over here. Um, hold on, I'm just going to comment that out so it doesn't give me funny line things here. Um, we'll say public high score. And uh, it will take in a string for the username. And I'll just start it with an underscore. So it's got a different name to uh, this field over here and an integer for the score. And now we say username is equal to underscore username and score is equal to underscore score. And over here we can say new high score. And now uh, we can pass in our username and our score and everything should be great. Okay, let's do a little printout to check that this is working. Uh, so we can print high score list i dot username plus a colon plus high score list i dot uh, score. 
Oops, it's meant to be high scores list. And let's run that to see if it's working. And it is. We've got Bob, first place, 92. Mary, second place, 85. And uh, last place is me with a score of 50. All right, so that was pretty simple to set up, and we've now got a working high scores system. Um, I do plan to do a part two where I show how to actually integrate this into a game um, with a proper display and everything, and um, as well as some modifications to the high score script to get some added functionality. Um, but yeah, that's everything for now. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, once again, thanks a lot to uh, Carmen for creating the wonderful Dreamlow resource. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Cheers.